Okay y'all, so it's time to prepare my backpack and I think I'm just gonna like take my lunch with me and of course a water bottle to drink some water and I hope I can refill it on my hike somewhere I will be taking a poetry book with me uh, You Better Be Lightning by Andrea Gibson to read in the train and therefore I also need a train ticket of course and I also got a bus ticket with me in case that I need it then of course always a little bit of money, my ID and some tissues just in case that you're ever gonna need it and then the only thing left is my deodorant and my camera gear and of course my uh, tripod as well so that's everything I'm taking with me today on the hike and I hope to see Leonard in a minute and by the way I'm dressed with um, Air Forces short pants and a t-shirt because it's gonna be around 30 degrees today so really hot and yeah, I don't want to get sweaty. So, the nerd arrived. <laughs> he fucking cut his hair all the way off. But anyways, we missed our first train and then we had to wait for a whole hour. But we're here in Hasselt. Uh, we have to take one more train and maybe a bus, we'll see. And then we can finally start walking. I think it's mostly gonna be a quiet walk, but... Yeah, enjoy watching and I'll catch up with you guys later today. This is very tiring, but it feels awesome.
Okay, so I took my shirt off because it's way too hot right now. But I'm kind of at the low point at the moment because I'm feeling hungry, thirsty, tired, and my feet are starting to hurt a bit. But we're not there yet. We have to continue like a lot of kilometers more and yeah we have to make it because we need to yeah have our train back home but at the moment it's very tiring and I'm just very happy that we kind of left the highway because there's a highway over there and that we can just like continue our walk in silence here in the middle of nowhere in nature but overall I think this is a very beautiful park and we've already had a good trip today we've already said more than 3,000 footsteps in this beautiful place so yeah a lot more to come Sometimes we also run and I think running gives me like energy to walk further so I really recommend that and this trek is also not that heavy so I mean like we don't have a lot of hills here so that's okay. I just found something. I find water. This is a very beautiful lake. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It is such a hot day and I hope this water is gonna maybe cool me off or I hope it's drinkable, I have no idea. But I just need some refreshment and some water so wow this is like heaven on earth for real, wow. So we've basically been walking for hours to get to this point and we think we're finally there so look at this guys here here there's a little mountain and we're gonna climb down now but we're finally there and we were like constantly thinking if we're on the right track but we made it plus we get this extra beautiful view wow. We're now climbing the hill and I can tell you it's a pretty steep climb but we're getting there yeah yeah we're on the top of the world wow we made it it was hard at the end it was really hard and now we have to go back even you know we fucking made it okay we just set ourselves down 
we finally made it to the top and this was our destination for today I only have a little bit of water left and I'm gonna drink that right now he still has some Sprite so he's lucky to have some sugars but I can tell you that the view is amazing and that Hohekempe National Park is a very beautiful park to walk in uh, we've walked a lot this day and we still have some trails to follow till the bus station and then we have to take a train back as well and then I'm gonna show you guys how many steps we did today but it's gonna be a lot trust me um, I think hiking is like very tiring but it also teaches you some lessons um, like that you don't have to give up uh, no matter how far your trail is and that you have to do it with the things you have and that you have to put trust in like whatever there is you know like you don't know where you're gonna end up at and yeah you just have to put faith in your destination somehow I am really thirsty and we're going to the bus station right now so let's start with that we're fucking tired and we still need to walk I actually run 2.2 kilometers if we want to catch the bus I don't want to quit I want to quit but we can't God help us Finally on the bus. Okay, so we're gonna do the final reveal of how many steps we did today. How many did we do? Almost. Wait, 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 wait. Almost 55,000 steps, like a what the fuck. So, we did a lot of steps today and I think we're both kinda tired. Right now, we're gonna get to sleep early today. I'm just very content with that number. Like, how did we get there? Okay y'all, so we're back at the place where I started this morning as well. Right now I still have some editing to do for um, last week's video. Um, but I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I have like so huge eye bags and it's like looking blue all over here. And I'm just so tired and exhausted. But I can tell you that today was really awesome. Like, I think hiking is more than just alone hiking. I feel like mindset is also a very important part. Like, you almost don't have anything to, like, navigate. Like, we only had the phone um, with Google Maps uh, and some, like, signs on the paths. But we were just, like, walking, actually, and hoping that we took the right paths and that we got to our destination. And I think we did, and we succeeded that very well. But we were just like constantly like, I don't know if we're going the right direction, I don't know if we're going the good way, but eventually we constantly found our way to our destination actually. Um, we've walked so much, my feet are literally hurting, my legs are hurting, I think I'm gonna be very stiff tomorrow, um, but that's all fine. I think hiking teaches us that we just need to pursue our goals and that we need to work for our destination and then like when we worked hard then the reward will like be extra nice to you like when I got that water when I got that pizza afterwards I was just so excited and so happy that I could finally drink and finally eat and finally sit on a chair like you know you work the whole day and then you get rewarded and it's gonna be like twice as nice you know and I think hiking is also a nice thing to do like when you need to clear your mind and just need to get out into nature and stuff like that 
Um, so yeah, I think hiking today with my friend was really great and I think I'm gonna do that more in the future. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you got a little bit quiet as well and maybe like picked something up from my talk. Um, but anyways, you can always subscribe to my channel and like this video. And um, yeah, I'd say I'll see you next week in another country again. Yeah, okay, see you guys.